Family and friends of actress Brittany Murphy arrived at a Los Angeles cemetery for a private funeral. A friend who eulogized the actress said Murphy loved Christmas and noted the irony of her being buried on Christmas Eve. We scheduled the funeral for a certain time so it would be over and people wouldn't be walking around in the dark. But the lights of Burbank started just to twinkle ever so slightly and day turned to night. There was a beauty to it. I'm Sarah Hamill, and I was working in People Magazine's Los Angeles Bureau uh, when Brittany Murphy died. My job was to find out what she'd been up to in her last, last days, talk to people who knew her, what could have gone wrong, what happened. You would hear some different stories, but the one story that remained consistent was that Simon Monjack was bad for her. She first met him in 2006. He was known as a writer. He was always in the, in the background, and we were always sort of interested in Brittany Murphy, but once they got married, they were holed up in that house 24-7. So it's very interesting when Simon Monjack came onto the scene because nobody was really aware of him until they were aware of him, right? Brittany, there's a little kid back here that can't nope. watch over all And he seemed a lot older than her. I don't want to use this Bengali phrase, but it seemed more like a control kind of issue. Right, last one, guys. All right, that's it. This was a marriage between a fading starlet and an unknown screenwriter. She was recently married, right? She was married about three years, years ago. ago. Yeah, okay, Simon Monjack. Yeah. Now, the thing that's very strange about him, though, is that he has said he doesn't want an autopsy. Simon did request that no autopsy be done. And sometimes that's an indicator that somebody doesn't want you to find out what they had in their system. And I explained to him, there is going to be an autopsy and we need to find out why she passed away. We were waiting for the autopsy and you start to think, well, okay, who gained from her dying? And then he's living in this house with Brittany's mom still. There was a set of pictures that came out taken by a photographer friend of mine of Simon Monjack with Sharon Murphy. It looked like parents greeting, as opposed to a husband and his mother-in-law, but it was creepy. Him and Sharon still lived in the house together. So people suspected that Simon may have had something to do with Brittany's death. A 32-year-old woman passes away suddenly and you don't want an autopsy done? What is going on? The amount of reporters and paparazzi sort of dwindled off, and we stayed. We were told to stay. Spent the night in my car. It was almost 24-7. And then I'll never forget this because it was Christmas Day. And I got a call early in the morning from my boss, and he said, go buy flowers and bring them over to Brittany's house. I brought flowers, buzzed the buzzer, Simon answered. So I said, Merry Christmas. I'm just so sorry about Brittany. I said, my card's there if you want to talk, but no pressure. And drive off. It wasn't even an hour later. I get a call from an unknown number, but I answered, and it's Simon. <laughs> and I'm like, why, like, why are you calling me? You know, I was kind of like shocked. I said, Hi, and he said, this is Amber, right? And I said, yeah, and he said, thank you. I got your flowers. And he was kind of silent for a minute. He said, you know you're the only one I've called. And I said, oh. And I've decided you're the only one I want to talk to. I had access to him now. 